Hi, it's me, Vamp. And, okay, today on Vamp Ruins Everything, you know, because we have to ruin everything, right? Today on Vamp Ruins Everything, we're going to ruin the home. I guess myth, let's call it, not really myth, but for lack of a better word, of the whole ammo case better than primed ammo mutations. Or, you know, ammo case better than ammo mutations, period. Okay, so, with ammo case, Ammo case, let's read it. It's a mod specifically for the carrier. Increase ammo mission capacity by 25% and convert ammo pickups into ammo for equipped weapon after two seconds. So, it just for equipped weapon. Now, there's a few pluses to this. Plus, it increases ammunition capacity by 25%. That's, uh, that's, I guess, a plus, but that's really nitpicking, honestly. Um, another plus would be it works for whatever weapon you'll have equipped, to be it primary, secondary, melee. Melee doesn't need ammo. Forget I said melee, but yeah. The downside, however, the two very big downsides, which is one, it's not instant. It's after two seconds. So you got to wait two whole seconds. With two seconds may not seem like a whole lot, but if you're being constantly fired at in a fast-paced game, like Wolfram, the game we're playing right now, two seconds is quite a bit and then you have the added fact that if your carrier somehow dies you your only real option is to what tell your group oh let me die so my carrier can come back you know so i can actually have bullets which, you know, that's the plus side, the uh, downside. Another plus side would be it wouldn't use a mod slot in any of your weapons. Now let's go to primed ammo mutation, mostly because I, eh, I use it in my, um, Amperex, actually. Now, primed ammo mutation converts unused ammo pickups into rifle ammo. Um, let's see. It said pistol will become 11 and sniper and shotgun will become 23 ammo for now. You know, because this is the primed version of the... Yeah. Okay, so, that's good. The good thing is, of course, it's instant. As soon as you pick it up, it converts it right away. The weapon you have this um, mutation mod on, be it um, rifle ammo mutation, shotgun ammo mutation, or pistol, be it whatever, or, I guess, arrow. Didn't know primed for arrow, which is weird, but whatever. Whatever you have, you have, and that's good, right? Well, there is a downside. Of course, the pro is you don't have to rely on your Sentinel. You can actually have a Kavat if you want. You can actually have a different Sentinel if you want. You don't have to use carrier constantly. You can use Helios or any other Sentinel. You can use a Kavat, you can use the Kubro, you can play your own play style. The only downside is it uses up a mod slot. Luckily, 
with ribbons being a thing nowadays, you can make up for that damage that you lost with a good ribbon mod. If I recall correctly, every weapon as of right now, me making this video, has a ribbon for it. So you can make up whatever damage or speed or whatever potentially that you lost with a ribbon. Even without a ribbon, I still think this is fairly good. It's situational though, just like ammo case altogether. Ammo case, you wouldn't want to keep ammo case on all the time on the carrier when you could put something else that's wasting some of the space potentially. So, maybe not. Maybe it depends how you look at it. Well, ammo mutations already aren't going to be great on every weapon. A lot of weapons in Warframe actually have pretty good, um, ammo consumption. It's only think like Amprax and basically any lasery type weapon and whatnot that don't have good ammo consumption. You could argue that the lens doesn't, but the lens has a built-in ammo mutation. So that's kind of a mute point, I suppose. But yeah, bottom line, Primed ammo mutation, or just regular ammo mutation for that matter, technically a bit better than ammo case, but, but, with that said, if you're going to, um, if you're going to use ammo case, I can't really fault you because of the fact that uses up a slot. Ribbon, ammo mutation, I mean, you know, ammo mutation and ribbon, you could create the same amount of damage, but that would take up two slots. Whereas I get it, you could do one damage mod for one slot and still get ammo case. I personally find ammo mutation better than ammo case because, you know, I like the freedom to use Helios or use a Kavat or and still use my Amprac. But like I said, in the actual game of Warframe, it only matters with a few select weapons, honestly. So yes, I say ammo mutation it's slightly better because that's how I feel it is. That's how my play style is. But with that said, it doesn't much matter because most of my build don't use ammo mutation. I never use ammo case because I don't use carrier. I know it's shocking, right? And like I said, most weapons have good ammo consumption. The only ones I could think of at the top of my head that I even use vaguely that don't are the lens and um, Amprax. And Amprax, I have this on it, the prime rifle ammo mutation. And the lens has a built-in ammo mutation. So, the, that, and the, yeah, that's just the way it is, I suppose. So, head my bottom line. Um, the mutation, ammo mutation mods, especially the primed ones, better than ammo case. But, with that said, not gonna fault you for using ammo case. But, with that said, in the end, it really doesn't matter too, too much. So there's no point in like getting super heated, super triggered about it. So yeah, keep that in mind. Feel free to tell me below in the comment section if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm right, if you 
agree with me about the home. Eh, relax, chill out, only one or two weapons actually use it. If you like, how dare you not use carrier? You know, all that stuff. Just let me know. I'll catch you in the next episode. Video. Later.